Okay, what we think is kind of cool is this. This is our static shot. Now we're going to pop over to animation GIF. Watch this. Bink, bunk. Count of two. Start over zero, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 57, Final Prep, Part 2. In today's episode, we made an animated GIF showing uh, individual and total energy factor charts from our last composition called Void Story, which looks like this, full size. And we have never made an animated GIF to to do this idea, we, well, we've, years ago we'd made animated GIFs, but this is kind of a classic thing. And there it goes. We're not sure we can display this in our 3D platform. Uh, that's why we made a, a standalone image, which is this one. But it does show that there are multiple dimensions in music, uh, as we call them, multidimensional thinking, cross-dimensional thinking, tempo, dynamic, cadence, figure and timbre, and so that was good. We also worked on our animation, and this time we have succeeded in getting the individual notes to dance to the tune. Each note now plays, each visual note dances when its tone plays like this. And we find this visually striking, literally. Um, the, the, what, we what we ended up learning how to do was to make, um, we learned that in our score, one of the lines is a track in MIDI and the other line is a different uh, track. So here we used track two and grabbed the backbone notes. Here we used track three and grabbed the polyphone notes. And then each one of these basically tells it to go find, you know, note number 60, which happens to be C4, et cetera, et cetera. So um, we used eight cubes, and each cube has a driver if it's on the backbone, and each cube has a driver if it's on the polyphone. And that way they come across. This is the backbone. You can see it goes all the way through the scale. And then backbone and polyphone play simultaneous, and both notes play simultaneous. The other more subtle thing is there there is a cymbal crash going on in the background, and this white edge right here uh, varies slightly when the cymbals play. You can barely see it on this one, but you can see it in the in the animation, the movie, the movie. So we did shoot a movie of that. Um, and then in our 3D platform, uh, we made, uh, we significantly updated, uh, we updated our titles. This title's been updated here. This title's been updated. This title's been updated. And we made, uh, we rearranged our orchestra area. We rearranged this. We'll show this to you live now. This is kind of fun. So now the group concert area, which is here, you can stand down for a minute, come down to the middle. Uh, when we wrap up our presentation, which is going to be over here in the, the, the big C, there'll be the posters, the slide placards will be there for the other parts of the presentation. But then we'll walk them over here and uh, it's it's... Everything in this circle can be heard and read text chat, voice chat. 
and then each one of these is a different scale which we've all heard before and then this is the bass and this is the piano and this is the chorus so depending on what they want to do they, they are labeled here you know choir etc and if people get banging away on this they'll be able to hear each other across it literally across so we'll think that's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be cacophony at this point we will kiss our agenda goodbye and and let loose so uh, that concludes today's stream our ideas for next time at this moment are keep moving forward we'd like to acknowledge trader one rocky bryce and nadro who came and stopped by we always appreciate that tune in next time do take care do come back and do keep on streaming